Hello there, many thanks for joining us for this week's Sweet Spot. It's the Racing Post's weekly golf show. I'm Bruce Millington. He's Steve Palmer. We've got two tournaments to preview and three to look back on. We'll start with... Where do you, which one do you want to start with, Steve? I mean, there were two kind of processions, weren't there, following on from Brian Harmon's procession in the Open. And yeah. one of the most amazing tournaments I've seen in many a year. Can we start with that? The Senior Open. I mean, you're the host. Yeah, yeah, you direct me. I'd like to start with the cricket. Yeah, you're the I think, I think cricket was far more interesting than golf. But in terms of golf, if we have to stick to the to the golf, then I'd say that... Well, very the, quickly, the, the, you... The, no, no, we'll, we'll do cricket because you were at the Oval on Sunday, weren't you? I was at the Oval on Sunday, which was a thoroughly miserable day. You know, Australia dominance and then rain. Um, and I was at... Uh, yeah, I, left, I left the Oval crestfallen, oh. uh, having, having backed England. And then yesterday... Obviously, it was one of the greatest days of cricket ever, wasn't it? Mm. Um, and, um, you know, it wasn't a dry eye in the house when uh, Broadie was steaming in there with the, uh, the, the the girl from the Saturdays. Did you know that his wife used to be in the Saturdays? Yes, I do, yeah. Him and, um, him and Wayne Bridge both have... Uh, oh. Their partners are both used to be in the Saturdays, yeah. That's good knowledge. Um, yeah, yeah, I just thought it was a fantastic day of cricket, but yeah, yeah I suppose we'd better concentrate on golf as this is. Oh, you haven't got anything golf. interesting to add? Oh, no, I have nothing, in, I had nothing <laughs> interesting to say, but no, I, on a day like when, okay. when a day goes as well as that, I mean, it was just it's one of the most joyous days of cricket I've ever seen. So I, I just, yeah, I just wanted to express joy. Good, um, excellent. Well, that's good, but there was very little joy at Porth Court because while you were sitting there shivering at the oval in the showers, uh, that the, these poor round bellies, I mean, I'm, I'm. I wouldn't say I'm amazed they played. I'm very pleased they played. And I was glued to this all day. You had yeah, to watch mate. it go on the red button because Sky were committed to Celine Boutier's victory um, in Evian. But honestly, from the word go, it was obvious it was just going to be one of those brutal days. And I've never seen golf, even on that Saturday at Carnoustie still, whenever it was, played in such difficult conditions. It was extraordinary. And you'd have loved it, honestly, Steve, because it was... There were so many mad things happened, and we and the maddest one was VJ Singh, who who started started off on the first tee, and you know he he's like the, basically the patron saint of visor wearers, isn't he? Yes, yeah, and yeah, he was and committed. A very, very very long willowy swing, which was is not really very good for the no, one, you know. no. So he was committed to the visor, but he supplemented that with like a bucket hat on top. It was right. it was the most weird combination I've ever seen. And it literally lasted about 50 yards. I think the, the bucket hat blew off. The <laughs> visor got so. So then he tried a big woolly hat and that, that yeah. didn't go anywhere. And then he just decided, I'm going to sack this off. And he's bald now. And he, oh. And at one point he was wearing what looked like a cashmere sweater, like your kind of posh uncle would wear to come in and, and visit and a shirt. Yeah. It was just amazing. Whereas the winner, Alex Checker, he looked like one of those guys who who doesn't normally play that much, kind of cheeky sort of tradesman type Danny, that you get down your local track. And he, he like, and they turn up and play golf, and it starts chucking it down. And he hasn't got any waterproof, so he's just like, no, sod this. I'm just going to wear my normal golf shirt. And yeah. and he and he was just marauding around in that. Yeah. Audrey Harrington's hat ended up looking like well, I've, I've never seen anything like it. But it was it was just incredible. Honestly, the whole thing was mad. It was but he's a tough mad. cookie, isn't he? Alex Chaik is a really tough cookie and obviously handled the conditions better than anyone. Um, I, mean, I was obviously following the score and it was just incredibly volatile leadable, oh, wasn't it? I mean, it yeah, I, I thought Phil Price was going to win at one stage. I mean, yeah, Phil Price was our great hope. Sorry, Philip. Uh, 125 to one. He got a place, didn't he? Finished fifth. Mm, did. um, but um, yeah, there, there was one point where I thought, well, I, you know, if the others come back, you know, nine over, which is what he posted, could have won the golf I know, tournament. I know. And, and yeah, you look at the first day, Bruce Miguel Angel Jimenez, he's five under par after the first round. If he stays on five under par for the rest of the tournament, he wins the tournament by 10 shots. Yeah, but he was never going to say he was never going to stay at five under. Instead, I think, didn't he shoot something like 18 over in his next 27 holes or something? He finished right? 14 over par. Yeah. Mm. And, and, and that was good. That was good enough for 25th place. I mean, it's, yeah, just it's astonishing tournament, but jolly good fun, isn't it? Jolly oh, good it, was, fun. it was absolutely superb. And Checker 20 to one at the start. And I know you've tipped him a couple of times this year. I do you like, like him, him, don't you? I do and like he, him because he's fit as, he's fit as a butcher's dog. Dog. Mm. Um, and yeah, that's what I, 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 yeah, I, I look for that on the seniors tour. Yeah, I look for youth and I look for sh for, for fitness. Mm. And, and he did well to see off Pod in the playoff. It was it was excellent. Yeah. And it sort of made up for the other two tournaments because, like we say, Celine Boutier 
She dominated on the Sunday in Evian. Fair play if you backed her at 50s. And over an American 3M championship, well, it's sort of slightly aptly named, really, because if you look, I look back on what Price Hodges was, and I looked Lee Hodges, and I looked at his form figures, and there was three M's in there, three <laughs> missed cuts, but he was 80 to one. So if you found Lee Hodges, well yeah. done. But you have to say that was the classy performance of the weekend. I mean, it was brilliant on Sunday night. Did you get back from the cricket to watch Lee Hodges? Yeah, I mean, he was brilliant the entire week, wasn't he? I, I, I spoke, I listened to him in his media conference. He said his practice rounds were amazing. He said he was making birdies for fun in the Pro-Am. He, he says he's never had a week like that because then he went 63, 64, 66, 67 in the tournament, smashed the scoring record in the 3M Open. So he just said he's never had a whole week where he's just been amazing. You know, sometimes you get these players, they have a rubbish practice and then they're suddenly good. He says it was incredible what, what, what happened last week. And uh, yeah, all credit to the people that got him. I mean, he's a solid tee to green operator. I don't think his short game is, is anything to write home about. Um he won once on the Corn Ferry Tour. So, yeah, I think he's just going to win, win sort of one or two golf tournaments. And I wouldn't get overexcited. I don't think he's going to reinvent the wheel, as they say. OK. He seemed a nice lad, didn't he? Him and lovely lovely Savannah, they seemed very wholesome. So that was nice. Yeah, from a small town, from a small town. And, yeah, they do seem a wholesome. Alabama. Couple. Alabama, Alabama, Alabama. Um, yeah, apparently he's a bit of a celeb in his town because there's not many not many famous sports people from, from where he comes from. But, um, yeah, yeah, I was pleased for the lad and pleased All for Savannah. Right. Pleased for Savannah, yeah. Good. Anything else to recap on? Uh, not really. I mean, as you say, Celine Boutier, was, it, it was a romp, wasn't it? I, I, mm. I, I had a good look at her on the Monday. There was some 66 to 1 on the Monday, but she was from a different part of France. She's from the north of France and Evian Le Bans is in the south side. So that put me off a little bit. And her Evian record was patchy, so... Yeah, I'm not going to beat myself up. Um, and obviously, Patty Tabatanik teased the life out of us early doors, didn't she? Mm. Um, Took the lead on Saturday morning and then clicked into reverse. Well, we were dreaming of Jimenez Tabatanik doubles, weren't we? You just, you just can't get your hopes up in the golf game. You, yeah, it's, it's but you always a... do, don't you? Love well, your so hopes you, are you, always you, up. You, you were excited about the Jimenez Tabatanik I'm slightly, doubles. I'm slightly excited, <laughs> but you. you 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 start spending the winnings, don't you, on Saturday morning? Yeah, I've never known anything like it. Yeah, well, she was tied for the lead with Boutier on Saturday morning. I was watching that, so watching the Evian with my daughter and, and, and saying we're cheering on the patty there. Um, but, yeah, yeah, you mustn't give yourself an early patty on the back in this game because no, you mustn't, um, must you, it's such a long while. I'd say the golf tournament doesn't start until the 71st hole. <laughs> never mind well, the back nine that. Stunts, the two, two of them were all over on the 71st hole <laughs> last weekend, that's for sure. Everything yeah. else right? You're in good spirits? You're saying you've got some new medication, haven't you? Is that helping? I've got some new medication for the for the gout, yeah, but um, yeah, this this one seems a bit more potent. Is 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 it's making me feel a little bit queasy, but um, mm, uh, yeah, don't you worry about that. No, I'll dig, I'll dig in, I'll dig in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep, okay. Yep, yep, no, so no, should, no, we, I, should we go into preview mode? I think we should. I think we should. Okay. We've got the uh, the main tournament in the US PGA Tour this week is the Wyndham Championship, and then we've also got the uh, Live Greenbrier. The the DP World Tour is on its summer holidays, which Seems bizarre to me, but it is. And there's also a uh, women's Scottish Open at Dundonald, which I had the pleasure of playing earlier this year. But we won't be looking at that one. But we'll be looking at the Wyndham Championship and the Greenbrier. Start with Wyndham. And here are some indicative prices. We've got, it's quite a good tournament, isn't it? It's very open. It's very competitive. Uh, Matsuyama currently fav at 18 to 1. Sun JM is 20. So is Russell Henley. Siwoo Kim, 22. Sam Burns, 25. Danny McCarthy, 28. JT Poston, 30. Shane Lowry, 30. Ludwig Aberg, 35. Aaron Rye, 35. Justin Thomas, 35. It just shows what a slump he's having, that he's such a big price in a tournament where if you were pricing this up at the start of the year, you might even have had him single figures, I would suggest. Alex Scott, Alex, Adam Scott even. Adam, Alex Scott wouldn't be 35 in this. Adam Scott and Alex Smalley are 35, and it's 40 bar. So it's competitive. Oh, is that a, who's that? What are the images on that mug, Steve? Oh, that is a Spice Girls mug. Oh, okay, sorry. Yeah, I, I saw. I, I dashed in to get a coffee pre-broadcast, realizing I was lacking spunk, and um, I thought I put three sugars in the coffee. But yeah, I, I, that's my daughter's Spice Girls cup. Yeah, oh, I'm okay. not, that's not mine. <laughs> I'm sure she won't mind. <laughs> Who was your favourite? Uh, I used to like Baby Spice and uh, Sporty Spice. I saw a video of Sporty Spice singing the other day at a function show, inebriated. Did you see that video? No, I didn't, but I'll tell you what I did I'm, see. I saw a video of... Oh, no, I'm go not, on. Tell I'm us sorry, not Sporty. First. No, I've got muddled up. Posh. I saw Posh. Uh, posh 
Posh was singing with Beckham. They looked a bit inebriated, actually. Oh. And Posh's voice was abysmal, you know. It was, oh, yeah, um, she could. Yeah, she was never the singer in that group. No, no, no. She's uh, not in the comeback, is she? Because they had a little comeback and she wasn't in it. I think the reason was probably the voice not really up to it. To mm, yeah. I watched a lovely video the other day of Baby Spice singing to become one with Robbie Williams. That was very oh, nice. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. You never. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I always had a lot of time for her. But mm. yeah, check out that Posh one. I think it went viral. I think it went viral because it was so bad. Um, but, yeah, they haven't come for the cricket. They haven't come for the Spice Girls. They come for the, the Wyndham. OK, and what? tell us all about the Wyndham uh, venue and then we'll get your tips. Sedgefield Country Club, Greensboro, North Carolina. Only 7,131 yards, par 70, only two par fives. We've had a 59 on this golf course from Brant Snedeker in 2018. It's hosted this event since uh, 2008. The greens, small and undulating, lots of runoff areas around them. So, yeah, quality scramblers like like your Brant Snedeker um, it will do well here. We've had a winning score of 20 under par or better in six of the last seven years. Um, and if you want some weather, um, a mixture of sunshine, cloud and light rain, calm sky. So it all looks fantastic. Apart from the fact we've got a thunderstorm threat on Thursday afternoon, Friday afternoon, Saturday afternoon. Oh, so, yeah. Yeah, well, the, the fun might be brought to an end, unfortunately. But we could get some stop-start action. All right, mate. Um, how many selections have you got? Five. Five. OK, well, let's hope this goes viral. Tell us who you fancy for the Wyndham Championship. See Woo Kim, my lord. 22 to 1 is, is, is he's being well backed and he's completely understandable. He loves Sedgefield Country Club. It was the scene of his maiden PGA Tour title in 2016. He carded a second round 60 that week. It was a five shot romp. He was fifth in 2019. He was third in 2020. He was second in 2021. Yeah, we're regular backers of Seawood Kim in this golf tournament. I think that's why you sniggered there. Um, no, I, I didn't snigger. snigger. I didn't <laughs> snigger at all. No, <laughs> just you just thinking. make me laugh sometimes. When you, when you fire <laughs> off your delivery, it just, it just makes me well, smile. Which, <laughs> I'm glad I like making people smile. I mean, I, I, I'd like to think we could make this go viral, but I don't know how. Um, do we have to get some... Do we have to get naked or something? Kick, I mean, no, I, no, I, I, no, I just, definitely not. You, you put pressure. Work. When you said, I hope this goes viral, I was thinking, that's that's very unlikely. I, 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 <laughs> my, 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 my brain was ticking over and how we could do it, but it hasn't come up with any answers. But yeah, I think we've seen enough from Siwoo Kim this year to know he can win this. He's, he's probably having the most productive campaign of his career. I mean, when he won the Players' Championship, we'd probably say it'd be his best year, but you know, he, he won the Sony Open at the start of this year. He was second in the Byron Nelson in May. He was fourth in the Memorial in June, so yeah, I think a fifth PGA Tour title for our beloved Siwoo uh, is entirely feasible. Brilliant. I think that could break TikTok. It was so good. <laughs> <laughs> I could ease a boob out or something. I mean, no, that's no, what it don't all comes do down don't to. Do it. Are you about to that? When you I could ease back? it. I'm comfortable, no, no, I'm comfortable doing that. Definitely don't, mate. Honestly, no, don't. We'll, we'll stand with the purity of our reasoning for these tips. I think that's what it's all about. Um, who's the number two selection? <laughs> It's Russell Henley who's also been well back. The market, yeah, there's too many shrewdies in this world now. You know, golf betting in the olden days, it used to be so much more straightforward. You know, I could I could feast on all the early prices for as long as I wanted. But yeah, the golf betting game has become popular. Yeah, the shrewdies are out there now. And Russell Henley, you know, each way bet on Russell Henley is fantastic. And yeah, you know, as I say, he's been back. But yeah, 20 to 1, each way bet on Russell Henley is still a good, honest wager. Uh, another standing dish in the Wyndham. His form figures from from the last three Wyndhams, nine, seven, five. You know, and you're getting ten places these days on a regular basis in in, in golf tournaments. Easy, easy to find ten places. So if you've backed him ten places last three years, you're making money. He's a four-time PGA Tour champion. Uh, the last of those victories came in the Mayakoba last year. He was in a bit of a drought, you know, a long drought. But yeah, you know, he he was commanding in that uh, that Mayakoba event in November last year. It was a four-shot victory, and then you saw that extra confidence he had. In the Masters in April, uh, his best ever result in a major. He finished fourth in the Masters. Um, so I think Henley's got um, he's got belief in him. He's another player we back regularly in this Wyndham, and uh, he, he's thrown it away a couple of times. But I think he believes in himself again now after that Mayakoba win, and um, he, he's had seven top twenties in his last ten stroke play starts. Do you think the win is is this tournament sponsored by a company called Wyndham, or is it sort of take place in a somewhere near Wyndham. 
I think it's the, the former, yeah. Is there, a, think place, be is there a place called Wyndham? I there? I'll look into oh, yeah. it while you're making your case for the next one, but do you think they're slightly disappointed that Wyndham Clark didn't play? Yes, I expect they are. I expect mm. they are. And if he hadn't have said, yeah, 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 my heart goes out to him. Remember Webb Web Simpson uh, <laughs> named his daughter uh, Wyndham, didn't he? Remember that when he won the Wyndham? He's got, Webb Simpson's got a daughter called Wyndham. So Webb Simpson is, is good PR for these guys. Yeah. Um, but unfortunately, he's playing so badly that they can't really sort of bring him in much. Oh, well, there it is. Right, yeah. third tip. Just give someone else a little bit of coverage, shall we? Okay. Ginger. I didn't ask you who your favourite was. Oh, um, baby. Oh, there you go. I thought yeah. you'd be a scary man. I know no, 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 baby. No. Right, third no. selection. Harris English, who is the only one of my five who's not seen early money and therefore probably, as, as I live and breathe, is, 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 is the best value of the five. I mean, 55 to one Harris English. I mean, that is an outstanding price. Um, he, he finished 10th on his Wyndham debut back in 2012. He was 11th in 2018. He, he missed his first ever Wyndham cut last year. I think he's going to bounce back 12 months later. He likes courses that he can throttle down a bit off the team. He can be very loose with the driver, can Harris, uh, get himself in all sorts of trouble with the driver. But you don't need to hit drivers uh, uh, at Sedgefield Country Club. He'd tickle his way around. That short game class he's got will will bring him into this. Um, it's another four-time PGA Tour champion in, in my staking plan here. And he's slowly but surely got his fitness and form back after hip surgery. Uh, he had problems with the hip, but he, he, he's back in business now. 12th at, at Riviera in February was the clue that he was coming back. Then he was second at Bay Hill, third at Quail Hollow, 12th at Colonial, eighth in the US Open. Uh, yeah, I think English is massively inspired this week as well. Yeah, I, I know you love the nappy factor, Bruce. Big fan of the nappy factor, aren't you? Two weeks ago, became a father, did Harris oh, English. Um, Elizabeth, sorry, I'm um, sorry, Amelia Elizabeth English. Amelia with an E. Triple E, triple E. Amelia, Amelia. Amelia Elizabeth English has wow. entered the world and uh, yeah, Harris described it as the best weaver's life. So he's oh. buzzing. And, and, then, and then a week later, his, his good mate Brian Harmon, one of his Georgia mates, won the Open. So he's bursting with inspiration as Harris. Um, and yeah, I think he's an absolutely fantastic price. Excellent. I always think he looks a little bit like a, a Wallace and Gromit creation. <laughs> yes, Can you see he that? Does. He does. He does. Without wishing to be unkind, and I really don't no, want to be unkind. Right. I don't, I don't want to be unkind. No, and I'm not in a I, position to be unkind because I'm, uh, you know, I, I look more like a spitting image creation than a, <laughs> a Wallace it's, and Gromit. It's, it's best not to be unkind, isn't it? Particularly mm. when you want them to play well. Well, exactly. Yeah, um, we don't want to be him. He might be tuning into this, giving his. Yeah, what if this goes viral and then someone says, "Oh, you look like Wallace." and grommet and he's like oh my god like, you know. yeah yeah i can't possibly win this golf tournament <laughs> now uh yeah, yeah i'm not going to say the word i was going to say to describe him because I, I remember thinking those thoughts i was i was standing right next to him once at a, an open championship he was on the putting green and i i, I just looking at it, i just thinking i'm going to say that he's not no gonna, no he's no, not going to watch i just see if you can guess what the word is then what's it begin with d d d d d yeah no d. go on say it I, I thought he looked dopey, dopey. Okay, that's okay. He, look, he looks dopey, then he looks like he's sort of away with the fairies all the time. Like, uh, <laughs> but but then who am I to say? I'm always away with the bloody fairies. Hey, I'm sorry, Harris, if you're watching this. Good luck with your baby. Great. Yeah, that that will motivate yeah. him for you, won't it? Right. Just, okay. Yeah, he's not who's dopey. The, who's the fourth tip? I feel terrible now. It's Denny McCarthy. Denny McCarthy, not dopey Denny. Denny McCarthy. Uh, again, being well back, but it's completely understandable. He's played some fantastic golf this year. And you know, how the heck is he still a maiden? Um, it was fourth at Pebble Beach, 14th at Riviera, 13th at Sawgrass, 8th at Quail Hollow, runner-up at Memorial, 7th in the Travellers, 6th in the John Deere. <laughs> I can't continue. Uh, he just He's knocking at the winner's enclosure. Um, you know, he's, he's slamming that great putter of his at the, at the gate of the winner's enclosure. He must come through soon. You know, he's one of the best putters in the world. This, this, this looks an outstanding opportunity for him. Uh, he, he's won the best event there is on the Corn Ferry Tour, the Corn Ferry Tour Championship 2018. Yeah, I think he's got a solid record in this one. Denny Francis McCarthy. Uh, uh, big chance. Excellent. And finally, the finale. It, 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 the, he opened up an amazing 200 to one. You know, it, it was one of those jaw dropping moments. Um, yeah, I think anything three figures is worth having. He's being well back, but it's completely understandable. It's Doc Redman. Um, Doc Redman, 125 to one is still generally available. Um, yeah, I, I, I think I think 
that local knowledge that he's got will be put to good use this week. He's, he's a North Carolina man through and through. He, he knows Sedgefield like the back of his hand. Uh, in, in 2020, he finished third in this event, employing that local knowledge. Last year, you saw it again. He closed with a 64 uh, for 21st place. The closest he's come to winning on the PJ Tour came in South Carolina in the 2021 Palmetto Championship. He was beaten by just a shot in that tournament. So Carolina is is, is Redmond's domain. He's had four top threes on the PJ Tour and, and re- recent players encouraging. He was ninth in the Barbasol last month and he closed with a 65 on Sunday in the, in the 3M Open. So he, he seems to have turned the corner at a perfect time for a bit of uh, home state glory. Lovely. I, w- I just went onto Wikipedia there to see if Doc was a, a truncated first name, and it's not. But his no. his full name is Doc Hudspeth Redman. Yeah, Hudspeth. Yeah, it's a great name, isn't it? Brilliant. Yeah, I mean, he must have some charismatic parents, I would suggest. Doc. Yeah, I don't know what the thinking is there. Um, well, excellent. Yeah. Jolly good, Steve. It's, it's an interesting tournament. It's, it seems like one that sort of a lot of players, it, it, it offers a good chance with most of the big guns away for a lot of players to um, to kind of chalk up a maiden victory. And of course, a lot of people jockeying for position in the playoffs as well. I mean, because that's for sure. that start next week. For sure. You've got to get in the top 70. They've, they've trimmed it. And it used to be the top one, two, five. And then you know, now it's the top 70. It was a shorter set of playoffs. And your Shane Lowry's, your, um, your Justin Thomas's, your Adam Scott's, they're on the outside looking in. Uh, they need a big Wyndham to get into the top 70. I think Larry's got a good chance of, of um, contending in this. You wouldn't Thomas have believed, you wouldn't have believed Thomas would be struggling, would you? I mean, it's, it's it's one of the most dramatic recent sort of form collapses I can remember, isn't it? It's such a funny old game, isn't it? I mean, mm. old, old Saint and Greavesy when they were back in the day talking about football. I mean, they really should have been talking about golf, shouldn't they? Because it is much funnier than football, I'd say. Uh, <laughs> because, yeah, yeah. It, it, Tony Finnau said it last week when it is his pre-tournament media conference in the 3M Open because they were trying to make him explain what happened because he was playing so well. He'd won the Mexico Open. He's playing the form. He's in the form. He's like, and he's had three months playing rubbish. And they said, what, what's happened? And he just went, Funny old game we play, isn't mm. it? Like, he has no answer. I love that. Yeah. He, he doesn't know why. <laughs> if I knew um, I was playing badly, I'd stop doing it and play better. Yeah, exactly. exactly. It's it's bemusing. And Justin Thomas now is world number twenty six. <laughs> I mean, can you? Who tell have thought 20? that? Eh? Oh, I mean, come on. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Should we move on to the live? Yeah. Yeah, I think we should. Yeah, I mean, yeah, top of the market in the, in the Wyndham there. You know, Hideki Matsuyama, Sunju. Sunju even gets so much respect again. Oh, we're not believe. moving on to the list. <laughs> but I, I just, sorry, I just, I, I noted, I just made a note that Sunju okay, again on. is that crazy short. Last week he was, he was fab pretty much and I could work it. He hasn't played well in a PJ Tour event since the first week of May, but the bookies are giving him almost, uh, utmost respect. Utmost, utmost, whatever you want to call it, respect. I call it um, utmost because that's what it, it is. Utmost? Is that what it is? Is there not utmost. another word called up, utmost as well? No, there's right. just one, isn't it? Okay, no, that's just enough. one. Utmost. Brilliant. Brilliant. Okay, right then. The Live Golf Greenbrier starts on Friday in the middle but of the afternoon. Uppermost. Uppermost. Is that uppermost. That's right. Oh, there yeah, we go. That's yeah, right. Yeah, 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 that's yeah. true. That's true. Sorry, right. continue, continue. <laughs> Live Golf Greenbrier starts at 3 p.m. on Friday afternoon. The usual three-round um, format, 48 runners, shotgun start, etc., etc. And Cam Smith is the 15 to 2 favourite. And then Brooks Kupka and Bryson DeChambeau are 12 to 1. Patrick Reed and Dustin Johnson are 14s. Joachim Neiman and Taylor Gooch 16, along with Sebastian Munoz. And it's 22 to 1, Harold Varner the third, Sergio Garcia, and 25 to 1, Barr. So, Greenbrier, that stirs up memories of former tournaments, doesn't it? Are we back at a sort of beloved old venue? Absolutely, yeah. We're back at the old white, um, at the, the Greenbrier, White Sulphur Springs, West Virginia. Uh, 7,292 yards, par 70, only two par fives in this one as well. Yeah, the old white is stirring your memory from the Greenbrier Classic. Um, a PJ Tour event from 2010 through 2019, a flat, fairly straightforward resort course, but we do have tree line fairways and small greens. Uh, double figures under par is one every one of those Greenbrier classics. Uh, we're hot, we're humid, we're calm. Um, but again, we've got thunderstorms. We've got thunderstorms. And what's the weather like in Greenbrier this way? <laughs> <laughs> Never calm. Uh, but we've got thunderstorm potential. I hate to say it, but um, uh, it's that yeah, time of year, isn't it? 
on Friday, the, the start of this 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 great tournament, we could have thunderstorms. So maybe they'll have to fiddle with the tea times because, um, yeah, yeah. They've got the scope too, haven't they? Of course. They've got the scope too. With the shotgun runners. start, it, it mitigates against weather disruption, I suppose. But they have a lot of entertainment in the build up to the tea times at these live events. You know, oh, like, yeah. Uh, they, they've got on a show. They? And DJs and things. Yeah. So maybe mm. if they get a sort of high profile DJ, he might not be prepared to move his slot. I tell you, it'd be nice to um, it'd be nice to have weather warm enough to have thunderstorms, wouldn't it? Can you believe it's August already? Yeah, it's frightening, isn't it? Nights are drawing in. I finished work in the dark last night. It's the first time I sat for a while. I was um, it's awful. The weather's been rubbish, hasn't it? July was just pathetic, wasn't it? Yeah, but I mean, if it's if it's habitable, is that a word? I'm mm. struggling my words today. Habitable, if yeah. If it's habitable, then you've got to be happy, <laughs> aren't you, these days? I mean, no, I, I you, think we can aspire if, to better than just habitable. I mean, well, you can aspire all you like, mate. It's not down <laughs> to you, is it? It's not down to you. You've got no right way. Well, I mean, you could say it's down to you if we all stop using fossil fuels. Well, um, apparently the government but, are going to be investing in fossil fuels. Oh, are they? I mean, I don't understand it. I don't think I'll you just understand bury my head it. in the sand these it's days. It's the mate. best position to be in at the ostrich position. Let's talk about a... the real important stuff. Who's going to win Live Green? <laughs> <laughs> How many tips have you got? I got three. Okay. I got three. Who'd you and like it, the most of those? And again, I'd like to apologise straight away because it's not the most exciting stake in planning this either. But I am. I've got an, I will have a suggestion at the end on how you can make it exciting. It is exciting. What? So you tell me that if you back a twenty to one winner or fourteen to one, that's not exciting. Most people get very excited about that. You think most people bet horses or even yeah. like roulette? You you bet red black. So you make a very good point. Shot. Um, you make honestly, a very mate. good point. You make a very good point. Particularly, you make a very good point on the horses because if if I was presenting this staking plan and say the uh, the two thousand guineas is that a horse race? Yeah. Um, people would say, oh blimey, he's taking a bit of a chance. Exactly. Of guineas here. Yeah. Exactly. But, so, yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah, so yeah, 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 bear yeah, that yeah, in yeah, mind yeah, in future. Yeah, yeah. You don't have to apologise. Who do you like the most? Steve? Who's I uppermost think, in your thoughts? I think I've got the utmost respect <laughs> for Pat. Patrick Reed at 14 to 1, who, who is regularly underrated in these live markets. There is not, a, no one gives him uppermost respect these days. Uh, but I think because there's reason that he's the most popular character, Patrick Reed. A lot, a lot of punters, I mentioned how shrewd the market is these days, but it's still human beings that are punting away here. And, and not many people like back in Patrick Reed just for the fact that they don't really like him. And he hasn't got that sort of va va voom off the tee, is he? He's not a spectacular driver like so many of the modern superstars are. So I, I, I just bring I, you Brian Harmon. Absolutely. Absolutely. They do win golf tournaments. And Patrick Reed has won nine PJ Tour events. He's won the Ruddy Masters. Um, I, I think he's often underrated. I think he, on the lift circuit he is these days. Yeah, this is a player with legendary short game skills. I mean, if I could ask you to name someone who, you know, if, if you had an up and down for your life, um, and Sevy, Sevy, you know, uh, Sevy Um, all oh, right, you wouldn't back him now, would you? For no. An up and down for your life. I mean, um, <laughs> who, would you go, who would you go with? Uh, I mean, I, I'd probably go, yeah, if, yeah, I'll let you. No, no, yeah, I'll, I'll have don't. a go on my spice girls, my... Um, um, I, I just, yeah, I just don't know. I'd no, no, just fair enough, fair know. enough. No, no, let's give Scary a go. Um, I'd go for Patrick Reed, I think. You would? Out of yeah, anyone yeah. in the world? I think so, yeah. I haven't thought about it either, but I am thinking about it now, and I'm, I think well, that's There surely answer. must be chipping stats that would just tell us the answer. Oh, right? yeah, stat schmats. Um, I, I know if I... Yeah, well, it's, we're not going to get in that situation, are we, hopefully? Our life is not going to be on the line for an up and down. So <laughs> let's, let's move on again. Um, so many pills inside me. What was I going to say? Yeah, you yeah, the old case for Patrick Reed. Patrick Reed. The old white is not, of course, we need that vava voom off the tee. We're talking about lack of vava voom with the drive. You don't need it. It's a, it's a fairways and green track. This the dance floors are small. You need your scrambling skills around those tiny dance floors. And he's always there or thereabouts on the live circuit. He's had four top five finishes this year. He was runner up in the last live event at the Centurion. Um, and he's played okay in the green brass here. So yeah, Patrick Reed, rock solid each way investment. Like that. Okay, the danger. Taylor Gooch, who again, lack of respect, 16 to 1, um, having won million golf tournaments this year on the lift circuit. You know, I paid a, him too much respect in the Open. Well, yeah, yeah, Mr. Cut of the Open. Do um, you know what? I had a heartbreak because you, you, know, you, you know that Fitzdares fantasy game that they had? Yes. 
I, I entered that and my original team had Harmon in it and I swapped him out for Gooch at the last minute. And I was just absolutely devastated. That cost yeah. me four figures, mate. Living heck. So, yeah, yeah. Never change your to... mind. Yeah, I know. Never change so your stu- mind. It's so stupid. It's so you stupid. Can, you just can't do that, Bruce. I mean, you know, as I, I know, say about I these, 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 these ruddy markets that I've been moaning about this week, on a Monday, obviously, I have to decide who I'm going for on a Monday afternoon, Monday morning, Monday afternoon. And then, you know, some of these players getting backed off the balls, I'm thinking, bloody Nora. But you can't change your mind, can you? I mean, um, you can't, Bruce. Don't, don't look at me. Don't, no, no, no. Don't, don't shake your head, Rob. Don't no, shake your head. I agree. <laughs> I agree. And now he's going to rub it in by winning Liv Greenbrier by the sounds of it. Why it is that? does sound a bit like that. Um, well, he's a three-time winner this year. He signed for Liv Golf in his prime. You know, it's a decision which has, um, you know, made him an extremely rich man. You know, a controversial decision, but, you know, one I don't think he's regretting at all. He won in Adelaide. He won in Singapore. He won in Andalusia. Now it's time to win in his, his home country. He's one of the most accurate players in this field. Old white rewards precision he made his greenbrier debut in the in in 2018 on the pga tour he'd missed five cuts in a row before that golf tournament yet he finished 21st in the greenbrier so showed an early love for the course completely understandable five five years later 10 times the player he was then you know his mantelpiece is bulging he's going to have to invest in a new mantelpiece um another solid each way investment a call to the five call to the five on these three you'll have a lot of fun out there OK, mate. He's also the most revolting spitter, isn't he, on a golf course? Have you seen uh, that? When, when he uh, spits, it, it almost looks like he's vomiting. It's just gross. It's honestly. such a shame, isn't it, the spitters out there. I mean, um, I don't know whether you saw in the cricket yesterday when Stokesy missed that. Uh, that did you see the catch and then he let it go when he celebrated? Yeah, no, I was playing oh, golf at Goodwood yesterday. And the rain oh, well, yeah. missed all the fun, yeah. I listened to that the last bit a, on Test Match Special. Gosh. Well, that was the that was one of the low points of the sporting year because it was a great catch, but then he yeah. didn't hold it, and th- but then he spat in anger. Right. Don't don't look don't look spat in anger, and um, the spittle just went just there. Have you ever seen a female sportsman? Uh, sorry, or a sportswoman as they call spit. <laughs> I don't think I've ever seen a, a a female athlete spit on a football pitch, on the certainly not on the golf course. I mean. In actual, fact, in actual fact, in life, have you ever seen a woman spit in life? Yeah, I have, yeah. <laughs> yeah, <Okay>. I have. <laughs> <laughs> All right. yeah, 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 we won't go into that. But yeah, I, 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 <laughs> yeah. But, yeah I don't watch much lady football, um, but I, do they not spit in the lady football? I don't, I've never seen it, never seen it. Anyway, you've got one more selection for Greenbrier. Who is it? It's Wackham Neiman. Wackham Neiman. Can you say it for me just to give me a chance? Oh, Wackham to... Neiman. Wackham Neiman. Who oh, again, 16 to 1. And as I say, it's not the most exciting. But you know, I thought long and hard of just about having two. But I fancy three. I can get five each way places. Why the heck won't I have three? Um, he won the last of the Greenbrier Classics. You might remember, remember this one. The 2019 Greenbrier Classic. Neiman's maiden PGA Tour title. He didn't just win the golf tournament. He won by six golf shots. Uh, any, any stirring? A, a little bit, yeah. I do remember him absolutely hosing up in something or other, yeah. Yeah, and it was coming on on, on that track. His old white form figures in full, a 29-5-1. Um, you know, he, we know he loves this venue. I think he'll be sensing a golden opportunity for a first live golf title. You know, yeah, Wackham Neiman, one of the best players on this circuit, not to have a win yet. Um, he's had a top 10 finish in three of the last five live events golden chance yeah they're my three i'd rather have those three than pile into cameron smith at 15 to 2 um you know we must respect his chances but he's been a bit loose with the big dog um I can see him getting in, in trouble at the old white jolly good let's reiterate the tips then who are your five selections for the Wyndham championship and of course Wyndham, we're talking earlier steve about you know are they sponsored they're a massive hotel group of course aren't they so it's obvious that was stupid of me there you go there you go yeah we'll have siwoo kim Russell Henley, Harris English, Denny McCarthy and Doc Redman. And the three for Liv Greenbrier. Patrick Reed, Taylor Gooch, Wackham Neiman. And if you want some jazz, yeah, do you want some mm-hmm. jazz? Yeah. Um, have 15 each way doubles. Three times five. So 15 each way doubles. So that's 30 bets. So if you did that for 10p, it cost you three quid. I think this looks like a great week for each way doubles because okay. I think 
I think my three in the green bars is going to be there or thereabouts floating around that leaderboard all week. And then you've got some, um, you know, five good chances in, in the Wyndham. And I if think... you were doing the each way doubles, would you would you strive for extra places over value prices or would you kind I, of... I, I'm going, I, I, I'm, I'm, I'd go caught with a five. I, I'm very, very confident. I think that's you all get... you're going to get in um, Greenbrier, isn't it? But in, in in the other tournament, the Wyndham, you've got choice of anything really up to 10. So yeah, you'd be looking yeah, at I, prices over places here, would you? I feel very confident. Um, pride comes before a fall, but I feel, I'd feel very confident I can get one in the top five in, in each uh, golf tournament here. Um, okay. that, yeah, I, 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 I'd go for the doubles this week. I think this is a, a week for the doubles. All right, then, Steve. Next week, we've got the FedEx St. Jude Championship and the Women's Open at Walton Heath. Do you want to come to that with me? I am on an island, God willing. Um, Kefalonia, unless it's unless there's wildfires, deny me. Oh, this, this should be all right, shouldn't it? I think they've all abated. And they weren't on Kefalonia anyway, were they? Two, yeah, in 2021, I think there were some quite serious wildfires in Kefalonia. Yeah, I am a wildfire watch. You'll be um, fine, mate. You'll be fine. Oh, that's a shame. I was hoping you might be able to join me at Walton Heath for a day. Oh, it's at Walton Heath, Heath is it? Oh. Yeah. Blimey. I mean, yeah. I, I hate it when they stage the open at a non-links venue. I mean, I know you um, I know you, you, you don't lovely. care about that, do you? But, uh, no, not at all. Yeah, yeah Walton, yeah, you'll, have, you'll have a lovely time. Yeah, yeah. Watch out for spitters then. See if you see anyone um, spitting. Yeah. <laughs> I will. A, take a video of it if you I'll do. I'll report back because I think you're, <laughs> I'm sure you're away for the next two sweet spots now, only because you're on a sunshine aisle. Yes, 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 yes. I'm okay. afraid I am. Yeah, yeah. Well, listen, thank you very much for your input, Steve. As always, thank you to Will. Enjoy your holiday. I hope you all have a great break and come back refreshed in three weeks, hence. That'll be one. Back it? to the, the Tour meantime. Championship. Yeah, I wouldn't miss the Tour Championship for all the tea in China. Fantastic. <clears throat> and then, of course, we've got all the build up to the Ryder Cup after that. So, loads more great stuff coming up on the sweet spot. Join us every Tuesday for more great golf betting advice. Mm-hmm.